Remember those marshmallow shooters you used to make as a kid? We upgraded, and we'll show you how. After this. I'm Kyle from Adventures at Home, and in this video we're going to show you how to make a very basic air compressor powered marshmallow shooter. And we know this is a pretty basic model and we could definitely have some upgrades, and that's the point. During this video we want you guys to think of ideas how we can improve this. Let us know in the comments and we're going to make a second video where we add the best upgrades. So be thinking of things like, do we need a handle? Do we need a magazine to hold more than one marshmallow? Is there a better way to supply air to this? Who knows? We'd like to hear your comments. We know we have a few ideas of our own. So let's get to making it. So here's our supplies. The first thing we're gonna need is a air safety blow gun. You need to make sure you have one with the air safety tip. We're not gonna need the tip, but we do need one that has threads on the end. Next thing is a quick disconnect for airline a one half inch PVC T, a one half inch female adapter, a one eighth inch to one half inch reducing bushing, a one eighth inch closed pipe nipple, and a 28 inch piece of one half inch PVC. So the first step is we're gonna take our quick disconnected fitting. It already has Teflon tape on it. We're gonna screw that into the <clears throat> air gun. This is going to be a permanent fitting, so we can go ahead and tighten that right away. Next, we're going to take our 1 8 inch closed nipple. We're going to put that into the end of the air gun. All of these fittings will be coated with Teflon tape at the end, but because they're not permanent and we are going to improve this gun, we're going to leave them all basic. Next, we're going to thread the reducer bushing on the end, giving us half inch pipe thread now. Now we're going to thread the half inch female PVC pipe adapter on there. Onto that we just have a little cut off piece of one half inch PVC. We can slip in. Our T slips onto the end of that. We're going to make sure to align the feed down so that it's vertical with the top of the air handle. And then we can just snug our barrel into place. And there you have it. Pretty simple. It's easy and ready to go. Let's see how it works. Now for kids whose thumbs are too small to cover the hole, we just cut a little tiny inch piece of half inch PVC and we put a half inch pipe cap on the end of it, which you'll see Ryan using right now as he shows us how to work the marshmallow shooter. Now if you want to up the game just a little bit, you can add a whole handful of marshmallows and you'll get a little bit of a shotgun effect. So there you have it. Here's the starting design for our basic marshmallow shooter. Remember to comment what we can do to upgrade it. Until that next video, I'm Kyle, helping you create your own adventure at home.